Hi everyone, my name's Aditya Nayanar, a final year honours student at the University of New South Wales. And under the topic of data sharing and technology, today I would like to talk about and share my investigation on the design for community-based monitoring digital platforms and the core concern of information quality that continues to present itself within citizen science through various angles and perspectives. And hopefully, Throughout the presentation, you'll be able to learn and take away something for your own implementation or thought. So I've looked to structure this presentation to parallel the investigative journey I've taken so far, beginning with an introduction to the motivation and reason for this investigation, followed by a closer look at digital citizen science platforms, what they are, their advantages to citizen science, and what might be current challenges. And that specific topic leads on to the focus on information quality and why it can be difficult to achieve in certain situations. Thus, with that background established, I will go into a further deep dive of my research approach and how I aim to investigate these core concerns. I'll then finish off by looking at my preliminary findings, such as the data gathered, as well as informing what potential solutions or ideas have come up so far. Of course, please ask any questions that come up in your mind throughout the presentation. So my specialization is in information systems. And while a lot of my experience has been within business and corporate environments, this was presented an opportunity to look at digital platforms in more of an environmental sustainability space. And that is why my aim is to look at the digital platform design in citizen science. There are three pillars underpinning this aim, including the investigation of information system design, a field focused on advancing sustainability goals to align information systems research with such a promising field. And then finally, a look at socio-technical interactions, where we understand the interactions and interplay between humans and technology. Now, defining digital platforms and citizen science can take varied interpretations but how I see it is that digital platforms have a core purpose, which is to look at data collection, process, analysis, and aggregation. However, in recent years, we've seen that digital platforms play a more broader role, such as facilitating social interaction and promoting that community environment. So on the screen, I have four different advantages that I've decided to highlight including connectivity between individuals and projects, which has connected citizen science around the world through technology. The accessibility for any types of volunteers or projects to connect with each other so that contributions can made, be made. Interoperability, which links towards data sharing, where we see that technology enables data from different projects to be aggregated and analyzed further. And finally, mobility, where new technologies such as mobile phones have enabled volunteers to contribute data in real time. However, it does come with challenges and these challenges are often associated with citizen science itself, which is the big problem of information quality. Now, notably, information quality is important as we look to provide citizen science its scientific rigor, validate the data coming from varied individuals as well as analyzing and informing scientific research. However, talking about information quality cannot be said without looking at motivation, which is a linked idea where we see that encouraging volunteers to participate in a sustained manner, as well as adhering to the requirements and project objectives is inherently linked towards information quality. However, the focus of my investigation is looking at that link as well as a deeper focus on information quality itself. However, where these problems start to become a bit more unique and where we need to further focus is in community-based monitoring and where my investigation has started to lead towards, where I would like to leverage a survey completed by Johnson et al. in 2021, where they notified that improving information for decision-making was the key purpose of these platforms from respondents. In addition, they noted that there was about 5.5 average user intended groups and 5.5, sorry, 5.7 different data types in storage. In addition, there was multivariable data collection 
as well as long-term monitoring focus for these projects. As a result, information quality introduces new complexities in this scenario where we need to investigate further how we can help alleviate some of these challenges. So this talk of information quality begs the question why it can be difficult to achieve if the issue is present in our minds. While one perspective I've noted in research literature is the idea of information quality tensions, where there's two sides to it, information quality versus other project objectives and interdimensional information quality tensions. So for example, data quality versus participation, as we try to increase the level of skills required for participating, such as more complex contributions to increase the level of data captured, this might discourage non-expert users from participating and thus overall reduce participation. And so this creates a tension. And there are many other tensions on the screen which follow a similar idea where there's two conflicting objectives which are both required for a successful project. And so the question becomes, how can we achieve both of these rather than trade off one for another? And this might be due to limitations in current strategies or technology. So this background literature brings me towards my research question, which is what are the design principles for improving the information quality in community-based monitoring projects, employing digital citizen science platforms and helping these projects successfully achieve their goals? My investigation looks to employ the action design research method, which is exactly as the name suggests, where we actively design a piece of technology, which is in this case, a digital platform to complete the research and evaluate new ideas and solutions. So using this prior knowledge as a springboard, we look to deep dive into creating an artifact to relieve these certain challenges. But notably, this is done in conjunction with organizational influence, such as an organization partner who provides the practical knowledge and experience to inform our design to ensure that it can be made successful in real life applications. Now, since this research is in progress, we will look to keep the project partners anonymous, but the research context of this investigation is a community-based wetland monitoring project, where notably some of the attributes that define this project, such as multivariable data collection, multiple stakeholders involved, as well as a health monitoring objective coincide with how I described the community-based monitoring projects in one of the previous slides. And so far, we've looked to complete eight interviews in this initial phase, where we've talked to four project organizers, one wetland specialist, and three citizen scientists to try and gauge the perspectives from different interested parties in this project to ensure that information quality can be addressed to everyone's concerns. So far from the management perspective, in terms of preliminary findings, we've noted that there's many outcomes to obtain through this bottom up approach through the community. There's a few short and long-term goals with an additional focus on enhancing community education in the wetlands. This is notably done through the process termed co-design where they look to involve the community and ensure that it is community led and the goals are community defined. This may lead to changing requirements and goals as the project progresses and thus creates the questions and challenges such as how do we satisfy the quality requirements for different goals, keep a consistent and sustainable process over a long period of time and adapt to some of these changing requirements that tailor to this project. So from the citizen science perspective, we've seen that it's a chance for individuals to protect their environment and take a path of scientific learning. Notably, a lot of the people we've talked to have had strong intrinsic motivation due to local attachment to the area, environmental awareness and social interaction with their friends and other like-minded people. Notably, in this case, technology plays a facilitating and supporting role through the data collection and upload process as well as a platform to communicate with everyone else in the community. This leads to certain questions such as, is data collection where quality is ultimately most impacted? Is communication and social bonding more than just social enjoyment? And finally, how can we increase the uptake of 
mobile technology in these projects to improve real-time data capture. So these interviews with different stakeholders and different interested parties brings me towards my design principles or the ways I hope to solve some of these challenges and alleviate some of these concerns through the design of technology. But what exactly is a design principle? When we look at design principles, I'm referring to design implementations or guidelines which can be used within a technology artifact, which in this case is a digital platform for citizen science and can hope to achieve the goals or objectives of relieving some of these tensions experienced. So for example, here on the screen, I have potential avenues of focus, which unfortunately aren't yet concretely realized, but will be so in future weeks as my investigation progresses. But my first avenue of expl exploration is integrated training, where we can notice that training is an important aspect of how volunteers build their skills. But from experience, it's a process that happens throughout their journey through feedback, communication, and as they learn more about how to capture certain specimens. And so we're looking at how to create this training process integrated into the platform so that new users can gain a lot of knowledge at the start, but experienced users can just briefly reference these when they're trying to record new parameters. Collaborative feedback, where we noticed linked to integrated training how we can help facilitate that learning experience between volunteers and other volunteers, as well as scientists and non-experts to ensure that individuals can learn more about not only how to collect data, but the scientific reasons behind their actions. Next is improving the data collection experience. And noticeably, data collection is where quality is often defined as these volunteers are the individuals collecting this data and ensuring that it's collected in a scientifically rigorous way will ensure that the quality maintains itself over the course of its journey to realizing and reporting and analysis. So it's looking at how we can make this collection process streamlined and user friendly, as well as how we can ensure that the requirements are met without creating too much of a burden on users and non-experts who just want to participate and get involved with the scientific journey. And finally, flexible reporting. We can see that in community-based monitoring, there are different individuals interested in the data, but often have different stakes or ways they want to interpret the findings from the investigation. So how can the platform be designed in such a way that it navigates all these complex stakeholder goals and ensure that everyone can meet their objectives? In addition, we also want to note that flexible reporting indicates that non-experts as well as experts should have content that is easily understandable from their perspective. For example, one design principle that we might look at is designing these platforms to aggregate data and analyze it in different methods to show graphs or other statistics based on the interested party. So moving forward with my investigation, I'll be using the problem analysis that I've completed so far within information quality, community-based monitoring, and digital citizen science platforms in general to feed into these design principles that I just shortly mentioned before. These will be implemented into a prototype where I will test this with users to evaluate and provide feedback, which can be used to refine these design principles and ensure the contributions are meaningful in all practical applications. Notably, this will apply to a class of problems where these design principles, which are specific implementation guidelines, can be used to create a new platform for community-based monitoring projects or be used to improve and update existing platforms to ensure that there's no abundance or an unnecessary abundance of platforms available. I would like to finally finish off by thanking everyone for listening and hopefully we're able to take something away from this presentation. Here I've noted down my co-authors and also a big thanks to the Australian Citizen Science Association for providing this opportunity to share my current research. At the bottom of the screen, I've also included some references that I've used throughout the slides where you can look up any of these ideas in further detail. Thank you very much.